Step one, the police department creates an annual budget request, and in it, they can ask for things like more money for hiring officers and, as in this example, money for more body cameras. This year, the Prince George's County Police Department requested $1 million for body cameras, and with that money, they could get about 500 additional body cameras. Step two, the county executive's office reviews the request and then decides, yes, they'll give full funding, no, they won't, or they can opt to partially fund a budget request. In this case, the county executive's office chose not to fund the request for more body cameras. Now, before we shoot some major side-eye at the county executive, understand this. Before more body cameras can be purchased, a storage system that can house the body camera footage has to exist. The storage is actually the most expensive part when it comes to the body cameras. It's not the camera itself. It's the servers and everything you have to do for storage of the footage. This budget season, the county executive's office allocated $750,000 for a storage system that would house the footage from multiple agencies, including Homeland Security. But it was not something in this budget uh, that, that we were able to do, but it is something that is, is a priority for us over the next several years to phase in body cameras, uh, the funding, so that uh, all of our officers are able to have body cameras. That leads us to step three. The county executive presents their $4.2 billion budget plan to the county council, and that happens every March. Now, like the county executive's office, they can vote yes, no, or partial when it comes to funding. The $1 million requested by the police department for more cameras, it didn't get this far. But the $750,000 for a storage system, that did. Then finally, step four, the county council gives final approval to the budget so that money can be allocated to the original source of the request. 